All right, fresh off the E3 Live Sony press conference. Kind of short. Xbox was two hours. PlayStation was 45 minutes barely. Uh, my thoughts. What they did bring, not indie, no indie crap like Xbox did. They uh, pretty much implemented what I like, what I asked for the Xbox to do, what Sony did. They did franchises and exclusive. They showed off the brand new Uncharted that's coming out. Nothing new, but they're showing it. They showed some really epic Days Gone gameplay with a giant zombie bear, which was just wow. They showed God of War, way more gameplay footage and everything. A little bit of storytelling. It was just so epic. A couple of new VR promising titles. There was one uh, in in uh, Insane Asylum, just going crazy. It looked pretty good. What was the other one? Alpha Point, whatever. I can't remember. I'm doing this fresh off, just watching. 30 seconds. I'm doing this live so I can remember. Uh, they had this shooter game that's probably going to use the... Uh, probably gonna use the far pointing gun it looked like a FPS we don't know if we could freely run or it's just point aim and shoot but it was an FPS SWAT uh, tactical shooter army thing then they showed what I think was the knockout for me it was Monster Hunter World that I don't know if it's a PlayStation exclusive we don't know I don't know for sure but I'm pretty sure it is. They showed a lot of story mode of a compelling story mode of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which you can download the demo right now, I think. I gotta go try it and make a live stream off of that. And, uh, yeah. Monster Hunter World. Capcom. Capcom Monster Hunter World. I don't know if it's an exclusive for the PlayStation, but I'm pretty sure. It was just epic. Monster Hunter World, probably open world and online and everything. It's a brand new franchise for Monster Hunter. It's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, whatever. It's brand new. Still the same gameplay, but it looked epic. That was a knockout. God of War was a knockout. I'm sorry. That's what I was talking about. I'm not a fanboy per se. Everybody's like, look at my library. I got everything in here. Nintendo, Sega everything from day one so don't give me the fanboy comment please it's just sony had franchises more but it was short there wasn't enough wow i was hoping for a twisted and metal five i was hoping for london heast uh off the playstation vr demo a full game demonstration of that they had that crappy mouse game and whatever that was i don't remember the title but i was hoping for that they did show some promising VR titles, but London, he's still not getting a full de full game. We only had a demo on the PlayStation World's DVD, Blu-ray, whatever you want to call it. That game was epic. No unveil of that. I mean, brand new Twisted Metal would have been cool. I was maybe hoping for an infamous. There was this droid army game, frustrated droids. Uh, it looked okay. Detroit, whatever. Can't remember the names. Doing this fast. But that's about it. Oh! Oh. Other knockout was they're doing Skyrim VR. Skyrim. You could see the graphics were lesser, bit nicer. But playing Skyrim VR, that that was a knockout. So obviously they, they showed more games, but sh shorter presentation. But I'm a little bit dis less disappointed than the Xbox one, uh, honestly, because they showed more exclusive stuff you can get on. I had somebody comment on my live stream and said, is this for Xbox? Is this for Xbox? Is this for Xbox? I pretty much said no at least six times, but they got the franchises. They got the exclusive. They got the PlayStation VR. Skyrim on PlayStation VR only. I'm buying that. I'm, I'm second guessing because Skyrim is coming out on the Switch also. Got some cool armor exclusive, but being able to play Skyrim on VR non-stop the whole game, it's quite compelling. It's hard to uh, it's hard to second guess on that. So nice titles are coming for the VR. 
the Skyrim VR, man. Wow. So pretty much excited, happy, but kind of short. At the end, they showed some brand new Spider-Man game from Insomniac. So I was like, okay, the combat, whatever display was with the, how he fought and the whole environment would react to him. He could latch onto anything, pull a rope there, suck this guy there. I mean, like, web him up. Sorry, web him up. And uh, that's about it. That the ending, no, they showed that for 20 minutes. It was like, no, yeah, that's not a selling point for me. Spider-Man game. Eh. Not sure, but they did show off the Marvel Universe, the new Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I will download the demo. I gotta go try it now, but that's pretty much it to sum up. Days Gone, God of War, Monster Hunter World. I got way more excited for titles. Skyrim VR. Did I forget anything? That's about it. I actually had a bunch of stuff. Days Gone. Days Gone just looked wow. And that Uncharted too. The brand new Uncharted. I don't remember. Legacy, I think. It looks promising. So that's pretty much my review. Sum up of what I thought. If you want to watch the full stream, I will put the link down below. Go watch it. Commentary live, but I didn't talk much. I was pretty much mesmerized, but not very much disappointed in the games they showed. But they had another VR 2D side scroller, Child of Light, I think. That also looked very promising. Good stuff is coming to VR also, but regular PlayStation also. So I gotta cut this long enough. Love you all. And that's pretty much my E3 coverage for now. See you soon.